Hey everyone, this is Utheris, and welcome to Let's Build Lothloria, episode 27. So last episode, we uh, worked on a small prison, and this bath house over here. Which apparently I can leave here, because uh, it didn't seem to bother anyone, and it does fit fairly nice. So, it's there to stay for now. And, um, in the meantime, I, I didn't even notice yesterday, um or when I was making my video that uh, we are over 200 subscribers which is awesome and you know I, I thank you guys for for liking the content and you know showing that you appreciate what I'm working on and uh, giving awesome feedback for what we should be building next so I just decided to you know open up with that kind of information and then on this episode on this note we're going to be building two structures today. This structure here is actually going to be, end up being a guild hall. I didn't want to make a specific guild for a couple of reasons. One, mainly room. Um, there's not a whole lot of room left in, in the actual city limits. And if I made a guild for like specific crafting, uh, like, like a crafter's guild or a merchant's guild or a uh, warrior's guild, Hunter's Guild. I mean, you know, the list can kind of keep going on and on, and it just takes up too much room. And for what I have left, I still want a couple ma more manor houses to fit in, and like a uh, one or two more civic buildings. So I decided to just make this, and this is going to be the guild hall, and it's just going to be kind of everything a little rolled into one. It's going to be kind of a three-story structure, has different wings, at least that's the plan for it. And this bottom layer, which will be like a um, outside storage, that's actually under the actual building. It's, it's supporting the building, and the building will actually come out over this area and raise up from there. And then over here, we have another manor that I laid out a foundation for. It's going to have a wraparound porch, which is... Nice and different than most structures built so far. And then, as a hint to the future, this uh, person looking thing, as the foundation kind of looks, is going to be the spot for the cathedral. There has been an astronomical amount of suggestions to build one of these things, or at least a larger church. And so I decided to build, you know, this up here. It's not as big as probably a real cathedral by any means. But it's going to, you know, have a nave, an apse, um, a clear story, you know, towers. Uh, it's probably going to have some minor buttressing. You know, things to actually make it look like an actual cathedral. So, look forward to that. And then also with the cathedral, I'm going to end up building a crypt slash, uh, what's the word? Uh, not monastery. What's the word I'm looking for? A mausoleum. That one. So, so Crypt slash Mausoleum will be built in addition to the church, but that'll be a different episode than this one. I just want to let you guys know what's going up on the plateau, and this will be cleared out and I have a couple more manor houses on it. Over here will probably be a manor house as well. So anyways, we'll go ahead and get started over here and uh, raise up this area. I need to drag one last item onto my hot bar. And yes, I remember to set it up this time. We have a nice assortment of things. Though I'm sure none of them will really be what I need. Which is going to be a shame. So, go ahead and... I want this place to look very open. So, everything's just going to be a window-like area. And then, I'm going to use these arches for the main kind of door in and out of the large storage area you can get large things in and out of there which is good you can bring that up in the little side door and just for normal foot traffic that way you know you can kind of sneak in from this direction instead of going from the main entrance it's not uh, a, a bad option to have so we'll go ahead and put a floor over this. Like so. 
and start working on some type of floor plan. Uh, this structure, this part of the building is going to be a single story, so we could probably get away with just having some windows there, like so, and a window on this side. Then I need to uncover the staircase up. I wish there was almost a half wood plank, specifically for these type of areas, because that's just a little too far for my liking. They might add one eventually, who knows. They did add a really nice kind of cone today, which I'll be probably using to touch up some of my structures eventually. And, you know, I think it's a really nice addition and you can do a lot of things with it. You'll see it used in the cathedral a lot because it will fit in really nice in that area. There's that area. Might as well just throw in maybe, maybe there's an office space here. Not the movie, but a actual office area. Or say the the leader of this section maybe this is actually the merchant section and then each wing can kind of have its own theme I'm not gonna put too much detail on these so maybe you guys can give suggestions once we come up with all the wings for the structure as to what you want each wing to be this one it's pretty much decided to be merchant I mean it's right above the storage area anyways so we'll just go ahead and call it that And we'll just widen out this wing a little bit. Sadly, not quite finished with all the terrain sculpting. So, you have to excuse the mess. Okay. And so here we'll have a stone first floor, I'm thinking. Like so, and this will need a supporting arch probably to make any sort of sense. that okay looking good so we'll go ahead and put in this will be the door to the staircase going up a floor this will be a little wing over there in which case I need to bring the wooden door in that way things kind of flush up nice and something broke. I just got the dust of something breaking and I don't know what it was. Um, okay, guess nothing broke. That's always a good sign. Then, so we'll go ahead, I'm gonna try and make a room out of this. Like so. Then we'll actually have this to be kind of a common hallway and I need to get rid of this stupid little tree. These don't break anything else. No, we're good. We get over here. Yep. So it comes to kind of a T, which is nice. Uh, you know, you can kind of squeeze in some extra space for your rooms by doing this. In quite a narrow connecting hallway. Like so. This might just be general storage. I don't, I, 
again, I don't know. I'm just kind of designing a cool looking structure. Doesn't always have to be functional. It helps though, for sure. So let's see, I don't think I have a staircase on my hot bar. And there's that. So you can get up to the second story area. And then we go ahead and put a nice floor over this whole section. And there. That, that spot doesn't need to be open, so I went ahead and just covered it up. Then we'll go ahead and put a room here. Maybe maybe I'll put the stair another staircase up on this side and have that third floor. It's kind of a mystical thing to have. This way we can have some rooms. I can lay out the windows first, would probably be best. Always try and do windows and doors first. Okay. And we'll just bring up the walls. So, pretty sure I just say like so, so much. Um, I don't really know, I guess, what else to say. Not like I can really just say bazinga or something, you know? It's, uh, I'm trying to focus and that's, I guess, the only thing that comes to my mind. And again, we're, we're alternating the wooden pattern. That way it's just, uh, looks like it's actually supporting a structure rather than uh, looking like it could have a weak point. I think in this spot, we will probably just bring the roof right down right there. No sense making that spot taller. It's not really needed. We'll go ahead and lay out the walls for this staircase here. Like so. There I go again. Um, do I want a different staircase? No. Mainly because, I mean, the, this stone one is just so efficient in terms of how much room it takes up. And plus, I think I would need to, like, have just one more in length. That way we could have a landing at the top of the stairs otherwise. And we just don't have the room for it. Then here, I think I'll just cut it like that. That way we can put our awesome room up here. Don't know how the roofing is going to look with all this, but definitely could be interesting. And so there we go. That'll be the pre-roofed version and I'm going to go ahead and probably just lay down some beginning rooms and foundations for this manor home before we go ahead and skip to the finished product. This is actually going to have probably a proper entry that'll be split 
off like so. And then some type of staircase to get up. And let's just go ahead and throw these in. Some windows. It's a very nice shape for a structure, I think. It's very sound. It reminds me of a colonial style home. Though, they wouldn't have this, I don't think, this extra uh, wing on this side. It would almost be just a uh, box plus shape design with a bunch of small rooms. No, I, I don't like, I mean, I like that, but I don't. So we're going to go ahead and change it just a little bit and make it look more like an entryway with some type of storage into the hallway that you'll use to branch off into the different areas. It's gonna feel a little tight. That's okay, I think. Finish out the edge here. There's that, and we'll. I kind of like the double staircase of the last house, so we'll kind of throw one in on the back side. And then put a nice window there. That way, you know, it looks a little bit more open here. And, I mean, you get a really nice view. I like that a lot. So, definitely one of the best views of the town, I think. So, I think uh, well, I'll go, I'm going to go ahead and do all the off-camera work and some minor train sculpting. So, I'll be right back. Okay, guys, welcome back. And... I went ahead to finish the manor house and this guild hall of some sorts. Um, it almost, to be honest, looks a little bit more like a house rather than a guild hall. But we can go ahead inside and see what we got. Um, I need to do some painting down here. It shouldn't be grass, it should be dirt. But So we have the ground floor kind of storage area which also leads up into the main building. So we got this area, which I guess I can, might as well just call this the Merchant Guild Wing. And you know, all the merchants would hang out down here maybe. I don't know what these stone side rooms would be. Maybe some extra storage. Could be a guild office for, for something. The second floor here is uh, the tree guild, I guess. And, yeah, tree guild. So, yeah, it, it has some good views. It's, it's fairly open. It's nice. Uh, maybe having a guild on every floor would be an interesting thing. So, you know, it's a very interesting building. I don't do many just straight up hallways connecting rooms. It can be uh, rather hard to do, but I think I've done it fairly all right on this one. This is the top floor, which is a wide open space. Could be a smaller guild there. I'm kind of liking the guild per floor deal. That might be nice. That way you can have maybe three guilds take out the whole building, kind of round it off. So the outside, you know, has a little bit of a lift to load and unload some cargo. It has uh, a fairly unique shape and you know, I'm, I'm trying to get creative with, with trying to combine a bunch of different types together and so that's kind of what it looks like right now and then we'll go ahead and look at the manor home over here which I think it turned out pretty good if, if I might say so so it has a wraparound porch on the first floor which looks fairly nice slightly open probably half open entryway into two large rooms on each side 
This one has a little back room, maybe for storage, but it has a nice little view out from it as well. Just about every window in this thing facing the town looks nice. I mean, you get a nice view overlooking the market and you can even see the church way out in the distance. This side, you're just kind of looking at the neighbor's yard, part of the academy. So not too much to look at here. And we'll go ahead and go up the stairs into a fairly open second floor. It looks pretty nice from up here. Also a little bit of a storage place underneath the stairs to the third floor, which we'll get to here in a second. Uh, this room is really nice and open, a lot of windows. You can see the brothel, you know, might be a place to stop by. Another wonderful view of the town center. And then up here, we have kind of the, I guess you could say master bedroom of some sort. If you crouch down, you have the potential to see where the cathedral is going to be. You can also see up to the castle. And I think that'll do it for this episode, everyone. Uh, thanks again for watching, and thank you for the 200 plus subs. I don't know what number we're at while recording this. Last I checked, we we're at 250. So, I mean, like, in, in a day and a half, another 50 subscribers, which is just crazy. And, you know, if you guys like the video, as always, comment what you might want to change. And leave a like, subscribe, the usual spiel. And I'll see you guys in the next episode.